All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Chase Fan Number Nine here, and I'm coming at you with another diecast review. I know it's been a long time. I just wanted to take a little break from it, and now I'm back and I'm ready to do so. But anyways, with that said, um, for this review, I'm gonna be taking a look at Noah Gregson's 2020 Number Nine. Bass Pro Shop Black Rifle Coffee Daytona Race Win Car. Um, this is from the race that was named the NASCAR Racing Experience 300. It's a really interesting name for a race. It's decent but not perfect. But anyways, I'll just leave it at that. Um, the race was, um, the race was, well, it was pretty intense. And so was the finish. Um, the race obviously finished under caution for those that did not see the race. Um, I was sort of kind of thrilled to see Gregson win. I wanted to see someone like, I don't know, Timmy Hill or Jeb Burton win. But, well, I mean, okay, Grant, Timmy Hill did finish third. And Jeb Burton, he did have a shot to win. But, unfortunately, he got caught up in a late race wreck at the end oh well and Gregson ended up taking the win over everyone else Briscoe also had a shot too but he um came up short um the race ended under caution after um what's his name Michael Nett went after he nearly flipped on the back stretch and all that and Brandon Brown kind of well, he did cause the wreck, and yeah, that was the end there for anyone that was trying to challenge Gregson for the win. Um, this is my third Noah Gregson car. I have his Cessna car from 2019, and also his um, Lionel Racing's diecast, which I reviewed, I think, two months ago. So yeah, I have those. Um, I do like this paint scheme. It looks pretty cool. Um, I didn't think that this was going to become a primary sponsor for him for most of last year, but it turns out that was the case for him. And it will be back as his primary sponsor for this year, too. Bass Pro Shops and Black Rifle Coffee Company. And the paint scheme will be the same. And I'll just leave it at that. But anyways, um... That's pretty much all I have to say, so without further ado, um, let's get into the review, shall we? Um, first off, taking a look at the card, you got a picture of Noah Gregson um, holding up the trophy. I had a good feeling Noah Gregson's first win was imminent, and I knew it was going to come at Daytona, considering we've had first-time winners over the last few years. And Junior Motorsports has been on a roll at Daytona, especially in the season opener, because... Last year in 2020, it was Gregson. The year before was Annette. I have his diecast, which I also reviewed. And then Reddick the year before. So I hope this year, with the seasons only less than a week away, I hope um, that Junior Motorsports can continue that streak. <sighs> but anyways, um, sorry for going off topic. Anyways, back to what I was saying, um, you got... A picture of his car in the background um got the junior motorsports logo and it says nascar racing experience 300 champion daytona beach florida february 15 2020 got the number nine and noah gregson there on the bottom on the back here it shows the G the grm logo again along with the date the race was completed in two hours 11 minutes and 44 seconds started 12th the race went the full distance, surprisingly, with seven cautions for 28 laps, and he led only 15 laps? Wow. And like I said earlier, the race finished under yellow. Um, this is no this was Noah Gregson's first of two career wins. The other was at Bristol. We all know how that went down, and that's all I can say. But anyways, let's take a look at the car, shall we? Um, as you can see, it's a... 
Chevrolet Camaro, obviously. Um, the camo on it looks pretty cool. Um, you got Bass Pro Shops on the hood. You got True Timber, Johnny Morris. Actually, you got two True Timber camo logos there on the hood, along with Johnny Morris's signature on the um, front here. You got the bow tie. You got Camaro there above the um, grill opening. And if you look closely, you can see there's um, tape on it with the, what are those, um, what do you call it? those green and orange squares. Got the number nine here on the front. You got two Sunoco stickers on the front sides as well, along with another one is another associate sponsor. Um, on both sides, you got the Xfinity Series logo. Um, you got Noah Gray. Oh, wait. Um, you got the NASCAR race car sticker here above. I mean, sorry, next to the driver's side window and on the other side as well. And on both sides on the top, you got Noah Gregson's um, full name there in print along with his initials and the race winner sticker there. You got some sponsors on the post there. And, oh, and I forgot, um, you got the number nine on both sides below the windows and on the roof. On the C post, you got the American flag in Exalta. And on the core panel on both sides, you got, oops, you got Black Rifle Coffee Company. And I will do it for that. Um, on the roof, on the and on the um, was it trunk? You got True Timber Camo, and you got Black Rifle Coffee Company as well on the back, along with the bow tie. Some other sponsors in the number nine. And if you look on this side, you probably notice that he's got some tire marks or rubber build up on the side, along with some other markings here. Because he did, I think he did do a burnout in this car. And um, it was pretty intense to the point where he actually did leave a mark on the side. I don't think, no. Nah, well, there is something here on the bottom, but I'm not sure if that's part of the car. Oh, and I forgot, didn't notice this, but you also got brands on the bottom here on both sides as well. Anyways, that will do it. For this video so guys that will do it for this die cast review i want to thank you guys for watching this has been chase fan number nine here make sure to comment like and subscribe make sure to hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos go hit the like button and follow me on twitter at chase fan underscore nine and follow me on, on my second channel dinger fan number 16 with that i'll see you on my next video and until then have a good one and stay safe everybody all right bye bye